Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass. And guess what? Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is open and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know how to be able to get on that amazing attraction. But before we get to that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button because we have all kinds of amazing videos coming out to make your experience at Disney or all the theme parks even better. Let's get started. The world has completely changed. Let me kind of explain this. So this brand new attraction has opened up at Disneyland and my mom is old school and she's like, well, I'm just gonna go to Disneyland and I'll just wait in line to ride this attraction. And you cannot do that. There is no standby queue. You cannot just wait in line. There's only two ways to get on the attraction. I'm gonna go through both ways. You have to do what's called the virtual queue or the individual lightning lane, the ill, the I-L-L. -L. And we'll talk about both of those different ways that you can uh, try to get on the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So you have to you do that. There is no standby line. So if you're planning a vacation to Disneyland, you think you're just gonna wait in line, there is no standby line. Now, maybe eventually they'll get rid of the virtual queue. They had it for web slingers. They got rid of it that by like six months, but they also had it for Rise of Resistance. And that was there for like a year or even a little bit longer than that. So you don't know how long this virtual queue is going to be there for Mickey and Minnie's. But I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to get it. This isn't a guarantee that you're going to get it, but we're going to increase your odds of getting on that particular attraction. All right. The first thing you have to do is you have to download the app. You have to have the app completely downloaded, the Disneyland app downloaded. And you want to have that all filled out with all your information and everything before you get to Disneyland. That's important. Step number one, make sure the app is downloaded. Without the app, you cannot do this. Now, a lot of you have been hearing about the Genie Plus, the Genie Plus. Do you need Genie Plus in order to get on Mickey and Minnie's? No, you do not. Because this is a virtual queue, it's a different experience. So you do not need to purchase the Genie Plus. Keep that in mind. A lot of people think they have to purchase a Genie Plus in order to do this. You do not. This is just completely different from Genie Plus. Just be aware of that. All right, so let's go through the steps of how to do this. Okay, so I did some screen grabs on my phone to show you step by step how to do this. So when I show you the screen grabs, it's gonna the screen's gonna be a little more narrow because it is, it's it's it is it is it is it is what it is. So that's all we can do about this. Now keep in mind, if you are trying to get the virtual queue time for Mickey and Minnie's, these are the things that you have to know before you even get the app. Number one. You have to have a reservation for Disneyland um, or you have to have a park hopper for Disney California Adventure. But it gets a little more complicated than that. So there are two different times during the day where you can get on this virtual queue. Uh, the first one is at 7 a.m., 7 a.m. Uh, and if you're going to be at the 7 a.m. one, you have to have a ticket for Disneyland. Keep that in mind, 7 a.m. is Disneyland. That queue is going to fill up very fast. When I say fills up very fast... I mean, it fills up within seconds, seconds, guys. So you gotta be right on this, okay? The next one is, they're gonna do it again at one o'clock. Now, one o'clock, you have to be in the park. You have to either be in Disneyland or Disney California Adventure, one of those parks. If you're in Disney California Adventure, your ticket has to be a park hopper in order for this to work at the one o'clock. So what I'm about to show you, I'm gonna show you a 7 a.m. reservation in the virtual queue. This exactly worked for the one o'clock. So just if you're just gonna try to do the one o'clock, that's not a problem. So if you try to do seven, you can't get it, it doesn't work, then try again at one o'clock. All right, so now let's take a look at the app. And one more thing to keep in mind as we're talking about this, the virtual queue is free. Anybody can do this virtual queue. It does not cost any money. Anybody can go ahead and try to grab the spot in the virtual queue. It is free. The individual lightning lane, that costs money. And we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. So now, now for reals, we're going to get in. I'm going to show you the app. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm logging into the Disneyland app. And the first button you can look for, it says tip board. You see where it says tip board? You are going to click on tip board. Once you've clicked on tip board, you are then going to, it says tip board in my day, but on tip board, you're going to scroll down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down until you find Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway right there. It says virtual queue enrollment starts at 7 a.m. Now I was doing this at 6.59. You'll see that the only group I had was just me. You want to have all this taken care of the groups before you even start this process. Now, you see what it says, that little refresh button down the bottom. This is the most important thing. A lot of times people are looking up at the clock and then when it turns to seven, they start hitting refresh. Do not do that. Start hitting the refresh button about 10 seconds before it turns to seven. Just keep hitting refresh, refresh. Re see, I'm doing that, I'm hitting refresh, refresh. I'm waiting for it to turn to seven. I'm hitting refresh and, I'll, and bam, I got, I hit refresh and look what happens. I lucked out and that fast, that fast, I was in group 58. So I was able to get a virtual queue. It says you're good to go. And I was able to get a group number 58. Now, here's some little tips. Let's say you have like eight people in your group. 
should you just have one person doing it all? No, what I do is I have all eight people to make sure everybody on the app is tied together and that all eight are doing it. You have better chances maybe. And once one of it gets it, it's going to block all the other people out anyway. So all eight people can be doing it. Absolutely do that. And another good thing is if you do have a group of people there, like your friends or family, you can have the other person staying there next to you, counting down, telling you, like looking like the atomic clock and say, hey, okay, you're 10 seconds away. So that way, you, you know, when you start hitting that refresh button, if you wait until it's a seven o'clock, then start hitting refresh, you most likely are going to lose your spot. It just goes that fast. Now, if it's a not a busy day, you, you might luck out. I mean, you might be able to go from 7.02, I mean, from 7 o'clock to 7.05. People are still getting in the virtual queue. So fingers crossed for a non-busy day. But this is your only free way to get on this attraction. So this is the only way to do this, all right? Now, if you missed it somehow, let's say you, you try it at 7 o'clock, it says all the boarding groups are full and you don't get it. You're like, ah, what's going on? That's not a problem. You can retry the same procedure, the whole thing again at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m., you can do it again. Now, if you do get a time, your boarding group, like minus 58, it tells me an estimated time to come back at 11.20, 11.20 in the morning. So it kind of gives you an idea of when you should be coming back. Okay, now if you're like me, like after you get the reservation, you want to kind of look at it. You're like, my precious, my precious. And you want to see it. How do you view, just to double check, make sure you have it? Not a problem. This is easy. This is how you do that. You're going to log back into the app. Once you log back in the app, you're going to go back to the tip board and then you can click on my day. We'll see the tap across the top. It says my day. If you kind of scroll down, it says you're good to go. It shows your park reservations. And then as you scroll down, it's going to show you the time that you're coming back. You'll notice that my time is now is at, is at 1042. So it's actually gotten a little bit faster. So I'm going to be going at group 58 at 1042. Okay. Now, the big moment's arrived. You got that virtual queue, and it now it's coming up. It's time for you to get ready to go. You're going to get notified on the app. It says, okay, it's time for you to go uh, ride the attraction, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. How do you redeem it? Well, let's go through that. Okay, so now it's time. You're going to log into your app. You log in the Disneyland app, and you're going to go right there where it says tip board. You're going to click on tip board, and then across the top, you're going to change it to my day. Click on my day. You are now going to go ahead and kind of scroll down a little bit. And you can see right there, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And you have the little button. It says redeem. Hit the redeem button and boom, you have your little code that allows you to get in the attraction now. And if you forget how to redeem it, don't have a problem. When you go to check in, they have the Disney cast members and they'll be more, they'll be very polite and they'll help you pull up the little redeem coupon for you to get into the attraction. Now, if you have a large group and you have like eight people in your group, only the one person who has all the redeem needs to pull it up and they'll pull it up and scan it and boop, 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 boop. So not every person has to have it on their phone, just have one person who's got all like eight tickets for your group of eight people. Easy peasy. Now, you have one hour to redeem it. So like if it says be there at 1130, you have from 1130 to 1230 to redeem it. So don't be panicking like, oh my gosh, I gotta be. You have a whole hour to redeem it. Okay, so when it's time to redeem your ticket, you see it very easy. You're gonna walk right up there. Hi. Okay, so when it's time, you're gonna go walk right up here. You're gonna show them your redeem thing and they're gonna let you in. And then they're gonna let you in to Toontown. And then once you get into the ride, they're gonna actually scan the badge. You have to have a ticket right now to get into Toontown. You have to, so I won't let just people walk around. So uh, this is the new sign. They used to have like the DAR up there. This changed a little bit, but I love what they have here. These new, these new signs. And then you get to walk right in. When you walk right in, you can see Runaway Railway. Once you get up to Runaway Railway, they're gonna scan your ticket. So they just look to see if you have that ticket. Then they get here, they're actually going to scan it and you'll be able to get in the right. If you purchase a lightning lane, you go on the left-hand side. If you have the virtual queue, you go to the right-hand side. Okay, so here we are for the Mickey's, the El Capitoon, the Runaway Railway. You can see the beautiful mountains. Those clouds are real, but it almost looks like the part of the cartoon, guys. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the individual lightning lane, the eel. I don't know why it's called the individual lightning lane, the eel, but that's what they just call this. This is a paid option. Let's say you tried to redeem the virtual queue, you tried to refresh your phone and you didn't get it for whatever reason, but you're like, I'm willing to pay to go on this particular attraction. You can go down and then pay for it. The price is variable. It depends on the day. It can go from anywhere from 15, I mean, from $7 all the way up to $20, depending how crowded the day is. On weekends, it's usually $20. And then during the week, it's usually about $15 because the new attraction costs a little bit more money. Just be aware of that. It can be pricey. I mean, you got a family of four costing $20 a person. It's like $80 to ride this attraction. But if that's something you want to do, I'll now show you how to go in and get an individual lightning lane. Again, you're going to need the app. 
In, and uh, this is a pay option. You have to pay for this option. Okay, so you're gonna log back into the app, go onto tip board, where it says tip board. You're gonna scroll, scroll, scroll down until you find Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. You can keep scrolling, there it is, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. There you see it says individual lightning lane, and it says purchase for $15. And I mean, if you click that, then it's gonna come up here and it's gonna ask, who do you want the ticket for? I'm just purchasing it for myself, so I'm gonna click on that. Now the next part here is it's gonna ask you, say, hey, here's your time, and it costs, this is how much it costs. Now, yeah, I just want you guys to know that I don't want you guys to see my credit card information or my personal information, so I kind of cut a little bit of this information out here. But you will then see this, like this little space mount saying, hang on tight while we're completing your purchase. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to redeem your individual lightning lane because it gives you a time, a little window of when you're supposed to be there. Now, they're a little more lenient with the individual lightning lane. So if, you, if you're a little bit outside your window, uh, they're going to be okay because they know you paid for it, but they really want you there during that time. Just be aware of that. All right, so you got to go back into the app. Let's go back into the app. You're going to go back into the app on the, the tip board right there. It says my day. And you can see right down there, it says my plans. And you'll see a little redeem button. You click your redeem button and this is going to pop up and allow you to go right into your individual lightning lane. Wait a minute. Have you hit that like button yet? Okay, let's continue on. Now, if you go through the lightning lane, um, it's really fast. You do skip the queue, but uh, it's very fast. If you have an individual lightning lane, you come right here and you scan it to go right on in. It's very easy. And I love the second you get to walk on a red carpet. That's, that's fun. Okay, now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, could you hit that like button? I mean, that really is your way of saying thank you so much for this. And then if you're feeling very generous, uh, go ahead and type down below, type in thank you. Just type in thank you. Let me know that this was this was helpful for you guys. It, it really goes a long way to help our channel by doing that. And of course, hit the subscribe button because we always have brand new videos coming out with cool tips, tricks, secrets revealed, facts, things like that. And I just want you guys to know how amazing you are. I just want to take a quick little moment to tell you how awesome you are. You make the world a better place. You really do. And I am talking to you. I really am. Because of you, the world is a better place. Don't ever, ever forget that. You make the world a better place. Now, if you want to see some really cool hidden secrets about the queue line of Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Wellway, you can click over here, here. I don't know. Somewhere it's going to pop up on the screen. And if you click on that, that'll take you to a video that's going to show you all these cool things you're going to see when you're waiting in line for the queue for Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Wellway. <laughs> We're about to get out. I think it's kind of an interesting photo right here because you got Pluto. I mean, that's a goofy, but look, he's got lots of teeth. Not just the teeth, poke out. All right, I'm just going to talk real quickly. The guy, the, it's, they just got to show this right there. It says Minnie, M I N N I E. Then the next one behind it says Mickey. And then there's a hidden Mickey above this. We have the turnout. So you can see Mickey spelled out M I C K E Y. And there's the hidden Mickey right there. <laughs> Now, it can feel a bit frustrating if you can't get on the attraction that you want to get on. I understand that. <laughs> All right, I was kind of saying, it sometimes it's a little frustrating. It might feel a little frustrating if you come here and plan this whole vacation and you can't get on the attraction. I understand that, uh, and that is a little bit of frustration. But it's going to be here for years and years and years. Eventually, the queue line will be, they'll get rid of the queue line, and uh, you'll be able to just come in and just stand by. Now I want you to know, regardless if you get that queue line, uh, the virtual queue or the individual lightning lane or whatever it is, no matter what, you are important and you're amazing and you're awesome. You really are. You make the world a better place. I'm so glad that you're here and thank you so much for watching these videos. I just want you to know that no matter what's going on in your life right now, it ebbs and flows, right? Good times are good and then they'll go away and then sometimes you have bad times. So if you're in the middle of a bad time, it's going to get better. That is a promise. See you. See you real soon. Hey, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. You guys are awesome. I hope this video is helpful for you guys to figure out how to get on the Mickey, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Wellway. Uh, I hope it's helpful. If it is, please leave a comment down below. Say it was helpful. That way I know to do more videos like this for future planning trips for you guys. All right, I'll talk to you later. You guys are amazing. Bye-bye. I made a video about how to get on Minnie and Mickey's railway. I showed ways to do the virtual queue and the eel, the eel, boom, boom, the eel, the eel, the eel, the individual lightning lane. But you got to pay for it. You got to pay for it. I don't know. Pay.